Hey, hey, hey. Welcome everybody to Miss Glow's Kitchen where the sugar, spice, and everything nice where we slice, dice, and entice using everything we can from peppers to allspice. What's up my people? Y'all know what time it is? See y'all in the kitchen. On the menu today, frozen cups, or as we like to call them here in Chicago, freeze cups or icy cups. Shy town, baby. You know what I always say, nothing to it but to do it. So, let's get to it. Easy peasy, here's what you need to make these icy cups. You need some Kool-Aid, sugar, you need a pitcher, water, cups, and a tray to put them in the freezer. That's all you need, so uh, ain't nothing to it but to do it. Let's get to it. All right, now, you're catching me already in progress. I've already made the green ones, so now I'm gonna make the grape ones really quickly. I've got everything in there. So I've got water, sugar, and grape Kool-Aid in there. I'm gonna stir it until we don't see the sugar granules floating around anymore, because that's what we wanna make sure of. All right, if you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button, that like, share, tell your family and your friends. If you're watching again, welcome back. Thank you for that. All right, right on back to these icy cups. Frozen cups, freeze cups, whatever you call them, wherever you live, they're the same thing. A cup of deliciousness that's cold. Yes, indeed. All right, so now the grape one is ready. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna show you the blue from the beginning. So if you don't know how to mix up Kool-Aid, I'm gonna show you how to make the Kool-Aid um, for these right now. So I'm gonna fill these up as much as I can because that's what I like to do. As soon as I start eating them, I like it to be toward the top. So that's good. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rinse the pitcher really quickly. I'm gonna rinse the grape out of it and come back because I'm gonna make green um, Kool-Aid really quickly. So all right, here we go. Now for one pack of Kool-Aid, for these icy cups, one pack of Kool-Aid is gonna be one and a half cups of sugar, white granulated sugar. And for this pitcher I have, this is a close to a one gallon pitcher so you want like a half um, of water but you, what you want to do is you want to taste your Kool-Aid too because you want to make sure what you have is like that house party Kool-Aid you want to have like that extra sweet Kool-Aid extra extra sweet because um, when it freezes with the ice it'll lose the flavor if you don't put enough sugar in it so you've got to put enough sugar just don't hold back on that unless you don't mind eating ice that just tastes like ice me, when I eat these, I want that, that sweetness. I want all that goodness, that sugary goodness that comes out of it. So, okay, now I'm filling the pitcher up halfway, so I'm back. So, as you can see, it's halfway. I'm pointing to it to let you know. And I'm going to stir it now. So, this is that um, the blue raspberry lemonade Kool-Aid. So, that's why it looks like that. It's blue raspberry lemonade, but it's so good. But you can use any flavor you like. So if you check it out at the bottom of the screen with my purple, you can see that it got this little layer on the top of whiteness. Well, what I'm going to do before I put these in the freezer is I'm going to stir that grape up carefully but very well. Then I'll put it on the tray, then it'll be fine. So it just needs to be stirred up a little bit, so that's why they look like that. But just make sure if your Kool-Aid looks like that, it gets that residue on the top that you stir it. You stir it really well, so. All right, so... With this Kool-Aid, we just want to make sure that every bit of the sugar, all of the sugar granules, that they are dissolved. You don't want sugar floating around or sugar left at the bottom of your pitcher. So you want everything, all the flavor, all the sugar in the Kool-Aid mix. So that we got. I've been doing this for years, so I'm used to it. I kind of know when the sugar has dissolved. But if not, just hold your pitcher to the side, look at it when you stir it and see if anything's floating around. If it is, then that's your sugar granules and you need to stir it some more. All right, so I'm gonna fill these up as much as I can. Yep, these are big cups. You don't have to use big cups like this. These are big 16 ounce cups. Not necessary, you can use the eight or the 12 ounces, especially if you have smaller children that you're gonna give this to or either you just don't eat a lot of sugar. Then you can use a smaller cup to make it. All right, this is what it looks like now when it's getting ready to go into the freezer. So you can see with the grape one over there, I stirred it so the residue is not on the top anymore. Just make sure you stir it. Easy fix for that, really easy. Now, what we wanna do so that they don't just waste and get Kool-Aid and everything all over your freezer, you just wanna put these on a tray or a plate, a flat plate if you have one. But just put them on something so that they don't waste. But just be very careful that they don't spill out 
freeze up all in your freezer. And hey people, we are done. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put mine in the freezer overnight. If you do about six hours, about four to six hours, they should freeze for you. So I'm gonna freeze mine overnight. All right, y'all. This is what they look like, frozen cups. And frozen cups, I got one turned over just to let you see. It was already melting, it was so good I licked off that one. Icy cups, freeze cups as we call them here in Chicago. We usually make them in these styrofoam cups like this, just like that so we can peel it down and enjoy it. See y'all. Thanks for watching Savory Spices. See y'all next time. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share.